Hello friends, today's topic is stone matrix asphalt as given in IRC SP79. Over the years there has been tremendous increase not only in the traffic volume but also in axle loads. Vehicles carrying heavy axle loads have specially designed tires which are inflated to high pressure and that creates high stresses in the pavement. Under these conditions, rut resistance mix is required to be placed on top layer of the pavement and conventional dense graded mixes are not found suitable for such situations. SMA which is a gap graded mix is highly rut resistant. SMA was developed in Germany in late 1960s and since 1970s has been used extensively in Europe and since 1990s it has been used in USA. SMA is used for wearing course as well as for binder course. The first ever SMA field trial in India was undertaken at Khajuri Chowk at major intersection and the highway road from Ghaziabad to Delhi city in 2006. SMA is a gap graded aggregate asphalt hot mix that maximizes the asphalt cement content and coarse aggregate fraction. It provides a stable stone on stone skeleton that is held together by a rich mixture of bitumen, filler and stabilizing additive. The characteristics of SMA which are important to understand are that it has high content of large aggregates that provides high stability that is resistance against deformation. It is made with modified binder and that supports the stability and this more binding more bitumen quantity will give better edging behavior of the mix and we use here stabilizing additives which prevent bitumen draining during the storage, transport, paving and compaction. Now this property I will discuss little later. This mix provides high resistance to permanent deformation. It provides improved resistance to fatigue cracking, wear and tear of surface under heavy traffic. It has longer service life and improved resistance to aging due to thick binder film. High resistance to damage by moisture and it can be mixed by conventional hot mix plant. It is laid by pavers unlike mastic asphalt. It is more resistant to skidding than bitumen concrete and it is applicable in thin layers also. It suits for heavy traffic, fast as well as slow moving and it substitutes mastic asphalt for intersections, surface of bridge decks and roundabouts. You can see here the difference between the texture of the final surface. This is the bitmus concrete specimen with 12.5 mm nominal size of aggregate and this is the stone matrix asphalt. You can notice here that SMA has a better defined large aggregate skeleton. This shows the difference between stone matrix asphalt and bitmus concrete. In case of SMA, we use almost 70% of coarse aggregate whereas it is 50% in case of bitmus concrete. The SMA has high binder content 6.5 to 7.5% against 5.5 to 6% in case of a normal bitmus concrete. Now because SMA has high asphalt binder content, as the mix sits in the HMA storage silo or transport trucks or after it is placed, the binder has the tendency to drain off the aggregate and down to the bottom and this phenomena is called mix drain down. Now this mix drain down is usually combated by adding cellulose or mineral fiber to keep the asphalt binder in place and therefore we add 0.3 to 0.5% additive which is cellulose based to keep this drain down within permissible limit. Now no such requirement is there in case of bitmus concrete. And because of these two regions that high binder content and addition of this additive, the cost of stone matrix asphalt is higher than the cost of laying bitmus concrete. But when we consider the life cycle cost of two mixes, stone matrix asphalt is economical than bitmus concrete. So mix design for SMA is more or less similar to the procedure as we adopt for bitmus concrete or for DBM with two three exceptions. The first part is characterization of aggregate and binder. 
which is as usual we do it in other courses also now selection of desired gradation now this desired gradation should be such that the wires in course aggregate by dry rolled method are more than the wires in course aggregate in the mix then we select the optimum binder content by marshall method of mix design we determine volumetric properties of marshall mix and one more test which is required is to check the moisture susceptibility of the mix and that is done using tensile strength ratio drain down sensitivity as i told you to check the drain down of the binder a drain down test is also carried out on sma mixer aggregate as usual you have coarse aggregate fine aggregate and filler filler can be lime or stone dust but fly ash is not recommended to be used in sma and the grain size distribution of filler should be the same as we take in case of bitumen concrete or dbm passing 600 micron 100% 300 micron 95 to 100% and 75 micron 85 to 100% stabilizer additive now here pelletized cellulose fiber shall be used to control the drain down and dose for this pelletized this uh, fiber can be 0.3 to 0.5% by weight of total mix now this dose shall be confirmed so that the bitumen drain down does not exceed 0.3% when the designed mix is tested in accordance with ASTM D6390 and this i will tell you in the later part of this session how this test is conducted the cellulose fibers to be used in pallet shall meet the following requirements the maximum fiber length will be 8 mm ash content should not be more than 20% oil absorptions more than four times of the fiber weight and moisture content should be less than 5% by weight these are the requirement of stabilizer additive the grading of aggregate which are used for sma if it is used as wearing coarse generally thickness is 40 to 50 mm with 30 mm nominal size of aggregate and if it is used in binder coarse then it can be laid in thickness of 45 to 75 mm with 19 mm nominal size of aggregate and the other grading is specified in IRC code now wires in course aggregate now how do we determine this wires in course aggregate in dry rolled condition now take aggregate retained on 4.75 mm sieve that we call the course aggregate wash the course aggregate and determine its dry rolled unit weight in accordance with ASTM C29 and what is this procedure this procedure is like this that you take a cylindrical measure of 10 liter capacity find its volume by filling the water place oven dried aggregate in three layers and each layer being rolled with 25 strokes of a tamping rod determine the weight of the aggregate required to fill the measure and find the density of the dry aggregate using this equation g minus t upon v where g is the weight of measure with aggregate t is the weight of empty measure so g minus t is the weight of aggregate required to fill the cylindrical measure and v is the volume of the measure so weight upon volume is the density now once you know the density then vca that is wires in course aggregate drc means dry rolled condition is given by this equation gca into gamma w minus gamma s upon gca into gamma w where gca is bulk specific gravity of course aggregate gamma w unit weight of water gamma s as you have determined here that is unit weight of course aggregate fraction in dry rolled condition and you can find out what is the vca in dry rolled condition then marshall method of mix design is used to obtain the optimum binder content and marshall specimen here is compacted with 50 blows on each face now that is important to note in case of bitumen concrete or dbm or any other bitumen layer we generally use 75 blows on each face 
in case of sma we use 50 blows on each face and we carry out drain down test to determine the fiber content and drain down should not be more than 0.3 percent and the gradation of aggregate should be such that vca mix is less than vca drc so these are three important characteristics which are not found in any other bitumenous mix let us select a trial bitumen content of 6% take three aggregate gradations and prepare four martial specimen for each gradation so you can take three gradation from the range specified in the table which i showed you earlier and prepare four martial specimen at let us say we, we start the trial at six percent so we prepare four martial specimen for each gradation three samples from each trial gradation shall be used to determine the volumetric property of the martial sample and the fourth sample which will be loose shall be used to determine the theoretical maximum specific gravity so these are the equations and you are aware of all these equations as we have used in case of martial method of mixed design you calculate wires in mineral aggregate you calculate percent air wires and you calculate wires in coarse aggregate vca mix that is gmb upon gca into pca where gmba where gmb is a specific gravity of compacted mix gca is bulk specific gravity of the coarse aggregate fraction and pca is the proportion of coarse aggregate in the total mix and as i told you this vca mix should be less than vca drc and this condition is important to maintain stone to stone contact the blend that exceeds the minimum vma requirement and has a VCA mix less than VCA DRC should be selected as a desired mixed design aggregate blend. So that is how we decide the aggregate gradation. Aggregate gradation is not taken directly from the table, but this condition must be satisfied that VMA should be more than the minimum requirement and VCA in the mix should be less than VCA drc that is dry eroded condition now once you decide the mixed gradation then optimum binder content will be decided based on design air wires of four percent and remaining mixed properties should meet those specified in table here that bitumen content should not be less than 5.8 percent although morth specification has recommended 6.5 percent the minimum binder content the cellulose fiber will be 0.3% minimum, VMA not less than 17% and VCA should be less than VCA dry rotate and between drain down should not be more than 0.3%. In addition to bitumen drain down, another important test which is conducted on SMA is tensile strength ratio test that is the moisture susceptibility test and TSR value should not be less than 80%. Now this drain down test which is given in ASTO T305 is like this. You need a forced draft oven which can maintain temperature at 120 to 175 degree centigrade. A plate or a container which is capable of withstanding oven temperature required for the test and this plate is capped below the standard basket this is a wired basket which is 165 millimeter deep and 108 millimeter wide an important point here is that this outer dimension is 165 millimeter and the 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 basket which is inside this wired basket will have bottom which is 25 millimeter above the bottom of this wired basket. So there is a gap between these two baskets, one inside basket, other the outside basket. And you need a balance. Now the procedure is like this, that you prepare the mix sample at selected binder content and fiber content. Place the sample in the wired standard basket 
and take the weight of the sample. Now take the weight of the plate also because this basket will be placed on the plate and the, the bitumen will drain in the plate. And place the basket on the plate and keep it in the oven for one hour. After that remove the basket and plate and take the weight of the plate to the nearest 0.1 gram. So whatever binder is draining out of the aggregate that will be collected in this plate. So we need to know the weight of the plate before and after the test. So the drain down or drainage is calculated using this equation A minus B upon C where A is the final weight of the plate, B initial weight of the plate and C is total sample weight. And this drain down should not be more than 0.3%. So fiber content is decided based on this consideration. And another test which I told you is tensile strength ratio which is given in H2T283. This is a method for the measurement of strength loss resulting from damage caused by stripping of the asphalt from the aggregate under laboratory controlled accelerated water conditioning. So what is done here that we prepare two set of Marshall specimen and one set is conditioned and another is dry. The average ITS, ITS here in indirect tensile strength, the TSR ratio is calculated as the average indirect tensile strength of conditioned specimen divided by average ITS of dry specimen multiply by 100 and this should not be less than 80%. Now, I have another video where I have explained how to determine ITS and TSR for a bitumenous mixture and you can watch that video. So friend thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have understood the basic difference between SMA and a normal bitumenous concrete mix and how to design a mix for SMA. You can write your comments in the comment box.